मैसेल देशमुख सचिन वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर फॉर द टूडे सेशन वर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द मेजरमेंट ऑफ डिस्चार्ज ओवर अ ट्रैंगुलर नॉच इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव सीन अबाउट द मेजरमेंट ऑफ डिस्चार्ज ओवर अ रेक्टेंगुलर नॉच ऑल्सो एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन यू आर एबल टू डिराइव द इक्वेशन फॉर कैलकुलेशन ऑफ डिस्चार्ज over a triangular notch and also you can calculate the discharge for the given uh, dimensions of the triangular notch what is a notch first of all what is the notch notch is a device you can say used for measuring the rate of flow of a liquid over a small channel or a tank also it can be located at the side of the tank or uh, you can say a uh, channel to measure the discharge it is generally made up of a thin metallic plate while the weir weir is made up of concrete or masonry structure definitely the uses they are same but notches are thin plates while the weirs are you can say a uh, rigid structures concrete or masonry structures now here i have collected some figures of the notches to get a brief idea about the notch in the first figure concentrate on the first figure this is a stream natural stream in the natural stream this triangular notch or we can say v notch is located and the discharge is passing through this discharge is passing through this so first case is in the natural stream now come to the second second picture now here you can see the series of notches v notches are there do you remember or uh, have you seen such type of structure anywhere yes it is it is seen in the flocculation tank of the water purification plant so along the periphery of the tank such notches are located now you can find out the head over this notch okay and find out the discharge of this one notch and multiply multiply with the number of notches okay so you can find the total discharge in that particular from that flocculation tank or you can say in the sedimentation tank also okay so these are the notches located at the periphery of the tanks now the third picture here it is a thin metallic plate okay it is a triangular notch is located in the channel of the laboratory to find out the discharge or rate of flow so these three conditions that i have seen shown but in many of the streams okay uh, uh, you can locate this uh, triangular notch and you can find the discharges now how they are classified they are classified according to their shape and according to the you can say effect of sides of the matrix that is with the end contractions now first we'll see according to shape they are four important rectangular triangular trapezoidal and stent and according to the effect of the sides of the napkin notch with the end contractions and notch without end contractions now we will find out the equation for discharge or rate of flow over triangular notch now this is a notch okay similarly you can see on the side this is a natural stream and here also the notch is located so here the important parameters which we have to see that is head total head then this is the angle of the notch okay this is given to us now this is a small strip elementary strip i have taken into consideration and i am going to 
find out the discharge through this strip now you can see there are number of such strips okay in this particular triangular portion number of strips so if you can find out the discharge through or over this strip and integrate integrate all these with respect to okay with this head we will find out the total discharge through or over this triangular notch so this is a point o this is b a a b is a we can say with dh is the depth of this particular small strip c is the center here it is the center of ab now start for the derivation uh, h is the head above the v notch theta is the angle of the notch now consider the horizontal strip of uh, thickness dh at a depth of h from the free water surface so the remaining portion is h minus h below the uh, small strip so we have tan theta y2 opposite to adjacent ac is ac upon oc okay ac upon oc so oc is remaining part below the uh, you can say uh, the elementary strip h minus h it is so ac is equal to h minus h tan theta by 2 just go step by step so width of the strip ab is equal to twice ac okay it is a twice ac so it is 2 into bracket ac is h minus h tan theta by 2 into dh it is area okay area it is area so it is a uh, width multiplied by depth depth is dh the theoretical velocity that we know that is under root 2 gh now this discharge small discharge over that elementary strip it is dq is coefficient of discharge into area into velocity put these values put these values for dq put these values for dq and we will get the expression 2 cd under root uh, 2 cd into bracket h minus h tan theta by 2 dh under root 2 gh now for the total discharge it is for the elementary strip now for the total discharge we have to go for the integration total discharge q will get by integrating okay so q is equal to this is integration of dq put these values and it is from limit to 0 to h 0 to h so take out the constant term outside the integration and integrate only for the heads okay so by simplifying it simplifying it you we will get this equation and here here you have to go for the LCM, LCM is uh, 15 and it is 10 minus 6, okay, 4, 4 multiplied by this 2, so the final expression is Q is equal to 8 by 15, CD under root 2G tan theta by 2, H is to 5 by 2, this is the equation we use to calculate the discharge over the triangular notch, keep in your mind. Now some of the advantages of triangular notch over rectangular notch we will see. Uh, triangular notch is preferred to rectangular notch because of uh, some of its uh, peculiarities. Uh, the expression is quite simple and for measuring low discharge, see, uh, rectangular notch if you can see, uh, you can view and triangular notch if you can view, for the less head, less head, then also uh, less discharge, then also we will get a comparatively good head in the triangular notch. That is not in the case of rectangular, it is going to spread. Okay, so the head will be low and in case of triangular notch only one reading is sufficient for the computation of discharge and ventilation of, of uh, triangular notch is not necessary. Now we will see one problem, concentrate on this problem, a right angled V notch, right angle uh, while uh, uh, you can say while solving the problem we have to see each term, a right angle that means the notch is of 90 degree was used to measure the discharge of a centrifugal pump if the depth of water at uh, v notch is 300 millimeter depth is uh, 300 millimeter that is the uh, head is 300 millimeter calculate the discharge over the notch in liters per minute many times what happens we will uh, keep the problem in by our calculation or by our uh, uh, you can say 
प्रैक्टिस वी विल कीप अप टू मीटर क्यूब पर सेकेंड बट हियर इट इज आस्ट इन लीटर्स पर मिनट सो एज्यूम द कोफिशियंट ऑफ डिस्चार्ज एज पॉइंट सिक्सटी थ्री एंड वाइल सॉल्विंग एज पर आवर प्रोसीजर राइट डाउन द डेटा गिवन कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन द फिगर एंड देन वी नो द इक्वेशन दैट इज एट बाई फिफ्टीन डिस्चार्ज इज इक्वल टू एट बाई फिफ्टीन सीरी अंडर रूट टू जी टेन थीटा बाई टू एच एस टू फाइव बाई टू पुटिंग ऑल दिस वैल्यूज इन दिस इक्वेशन ओके ऑल दिस वैल्यूज इन द इक्वेशन वी विल गेट क्यू इज इक्वल टू दिस इन मीटर क्यू पर सेकेंड एंड इन लीटर्स पर मिनिट इट इज So these are some review questions. Write the formula for measurement of uh, discharge over triangular notch, and in this the advantages of triangular notch over rectangular notch. Okay. Recall your memory and again write the formula. So uh, while uh, writing the advantages, you have to view both rectangular notch and triangular notch. Okay. and then you can write more uh, you can say points related with this uh, advantages okay uh, these are some references in the reference books you will get more problems okay